Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Nowadays, an expensive computer RAM and server RAM have integrated heatsinks. In PC, they come with a heatsink because of the overclocking capability. So, you can increase frequencies and timings. And in servers, heatsinks in RAM can greatly improve its longevity for many years. Laptops are another story. They have to be lightweight and portable. So their RAMs don't have heatsinks. Because it will add extra weight. Even in bulky gaming laptops, that they have the overclocking option, you don't see them with a heatsink on RAM modules. So today, I'm going to show you how you can add a heatsink in a laptop RAM. This method might work also on PC RAM. This is only an experimental video and I believe that by adding a heatsink to this laptop RAM, it will help improving its longevity. During this period of summer, this laptop gets pretty toasty. And when you touch the RAM memory modules, they are a bit warm because there is no heat sink to spread the heat or airflow to move the heat out. To add a heat sink to this RAM, we first need an aluminum piece that can cover all the memory chips in the RAM module. To do so, I have this CPU heat sink that I took from a really old PC. What I am going to do is that I will remove these fins and place it in both sides of the RAM. To remove the fins, I use this iron cutter. I made sure to be careful during this process. The RAM still won't fit in the machine with these heat sinks. So what we are going to do next is to trim the aluminum pieces just on perfect size. To do so, I marked the size that I needed on the aluminum and then started to trim it down. Once we do that, we have to add thermal paste between memory chips in the RAM module and the heatsink. I made sure to spread the thermal paste. This process will make sure to transfer the heat to the heatsink. Make sure that your thermal paste it is not electricity conductive because it will damage the entire process otherwise if it touches on the little connectors of the chips in the RAM PCB. To make sure that the heatsink will stay on place, I will be using this aluminum scotch. I cut all the pieces that I needed and placed them over both heatsinks. You can use something else, but make sure that the heatsink won't jiggle wiggle around inside the laptop. Now it is time to place the RAM inside the machine. Finger cross and let's see if the machine still works. And yeah, as it seems, it is working properly. The RAM it is showing in Task Manager. And when you fully load the machine, now the RAM heatsink, it is cold to the touch. Overall, I consider this experiment to be a success for me. If you want to try this out, do it at your own risk. Some laptops might even have soldered RAM chips in the motherboard. And this video won't help. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed the video, please consider to subscribe. Like the video or share it. Till next time, stay transformative.